Hello, welcome. Welcome back if you're a current subscriber. Welcome if you're new. I have a large order here from Lavender and Speckles. Just get this open. She got this nicely taped here. I didn't bring a scissors because I'm not prepared. Again, I am not a professional. Okay. I guess I only had to undo one of those. Huh? No, I guess I did. All right. It's a fancy box. I got this. A couple days ago well, literally days ago but I've been busy so I did not have time all right oh she does include an invoice well she included a lot in here wow okay so <laughs> she always leaves cute little notes all right here's lavender and speckles information so Beth is the owner so she, I love this show for Christmas, she wrote, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Isaiah 9, 6. I love that so much. Business card. So lavender and speckles are her chickens, but I'm sure you already knew, knew that. She did include some very nice bags these so i have extra bags that i order from clear um clear bags i think it is these are very thick even thicker than what i order wow those are awesome i know she said that they were upgrading their bags okay so there is a sample of great outdoors i don't know the scent notes oh this is masculine i'm gonna warm this in my kids bathroom right there thank you for including that all right Let's see if they appreciate it. <laughs> I always put like any masculine scents I have in there, which I don't have many, so I appreciate that. Okay. So I just want to say a big thank you to Beth for helping me. I worked the night shift the day she launched this, so she was very helpful uh, with my order. Um, she just, there is a note on here, Christmas tree cakes is in two large bags because I ordered four small bags, which I don't really care. Um, but that was one that um, Beth and I kind of worked on together. Some of these are inspired. If I, I will go and add um, who they're inspired by if I got a blend that was inspired by somebody in the group. So let's start with Strawberry Balsam. I have some of this from last, well, last year, yeah. So this is strawberry, Sweet Strawberry and Balsam. And then the scripture on here is uh, John 416. I am the way, the truth, the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. So she changed the labels a little bit. I know what this smells like because like I said, I have some downstairs. This is so good. Strong on both. Um, I like the bags. I love this scent. If you like strawberry and you gotta like trees in order to like this, but this one is very good. Like I said, you gotta like both those scent notes. Okay, next up is vanilla sugar, marshmallow fireside. So warm vanilla sugar, Palo, Palo Santo, and marshmallow fireside. And this one has Isaiah 9, 6 or 7, which I already read to you in the first scripture on her Christmas card. I don't think I've had this one before. Hmm. I get a lot of marshmallow fireside in this. And Palo, I don't get a lot of warm vanilla sugar, but you never know how something's going to warm. But definitely marshmallow fireside and um, uh, the Palo. But this is very good. I love marshmallow fireside blends. Okay, I don't know how many of these I got. I just want to see... If I just want to grab, if I have more than um, one, I just want to grab them both at the same time. Uh, peppermint sugar cookies. I just got one. This is the perfect Christmas cookie blend. Sweet peppermint and warm sugar, or warm sugar cookies. Now I hope her peppermint isn't. Some people do peppermint well, and other vendors it's not like the right kind of blend. Okay, this is this is actually this is very well blended. 
I just have noticed that sometimes when I've gotten peppermint cookie or like bakery blends, it can be so like all you can smell is the mint and I hate that. Like I wanna smell a good mix of both. This is very good. Like I definitely smell a cookie. Oh, her peppermint is sweet. It's not like, oh, I can't handle it. Oh, so good. Cute label. Again, I don't know how my focus is gonna be, but okay, that one is a standout so far. Okay. Okay, Santa's zucchini bread. Oh, I got three of these because the bags are a little smaller and I'm trying to try more zucchini uh, blends and then based on the scent notes, you'll understand why I got this. This says, did you know Santa prefers zucchini bread? Chocolate chip cookies blended with sweet vanilla and zucchini bread. I've, I did recently get a chocolate chip cookie blend that I've been obsessed with. So when I saw this, I was like, oh yes, please. Yeah, this, oh, well, this is really good. And best zucchini is really good. It's a very creamy, oh my gosh, this is so good. Oh, I wanna warm this. <laughs> this honestly smells like when I make zucchini bread instead of like banana nut bread, like banana nut bread. Uh, in the summer from the garden and then we throw in I throw in mini chocolate chips that is exactly what this smells like this is very alarming to me that it smells like I pulled this out of my oven I might warm one of these now I do I've shared in my videos I do cut these in half because um, I find that I get very good performance with her wax I will be doing an updated warmer tour like you can see my Christmas stuff. I don't have that one plugged in. If you can see that, I can't tell if you can see it because I just have the lenses facing me. Hopefully this looks good, but I don't have that plugged in because I had to order a new like extension for back there because I have warmers and Christmas lights. So that isn't plugged in, but I'm trying to finish and finalize like all my Christmas decor. So eventually you'll see what warmers I have. And I'm just gonna keep referencing people to those warmer tours because um, I got a lot of questions in all my videos about what warmers I use. And yes, I use Sensi, but I also use two one hot plates and I got a Julianne warmer with a timer that gets very hot. And I have, I'll go over that in the warmer tour. Like I have some great performers that are really hot. Okay, I did a wild card again. I got Peppermint Eggnog Espresso. Pretty self-explanatory. That label is so stinking cute. Same scripture as Isaiah 9, 6 to 7. This is good. So the peppermint is a little different in this versus in the peppermint sugar cookie. It's a lot stronger. I do get eggnog and I definitely get espresso. I think what I've discovered is I, I don't like coffee scents. I like espresso scents because every scent that I seem to like tends to have that in it. This is very good. I'm so glad that I decided to at least try one bag of this. Okay, Christmas cocoa. And I love, thank you, Beth, for putting, like if I got two of something, she actually put them together so then I don't have to search for them. So thank you, because sometimes that doesn't always happen. So this one, look at the label. This is sweet peppermint, vanilla, dark chocolate, cinnamon, sugar, donuts. I'm really excited for this one, honestly. <sighs> Very cool, oh my gosh. Okay, I definitely can smell cinnamon sugar donuts in this, but I also smell chocolate and peppermint. Oh my gosh, this is good. My son is home too. We had to drive to Mayo, Rochester today for him. So he is like, his bedroom is like right there. So I'm trying not to be so annoyingly loud because people tell me I'm loud. It's like, that's just my personality. I can't really do a lot about it. I mean, I can, but when I am quiet, people think I'm crabby or whatever. I'm not crabby, I'm just trying to be respectful of him. I had to get up at 5 a.m., so I think he's trying to lay down. I love this, oh my gosh. Beth, I love this one, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to, at the end I'll tell you like some of them that I was a little surprised by. Okay, hang on, let's see here. All right, next up. Okay, I did wanna just try her sugar cookie royale because I had gotten a sample of this 
and I haven't warmed it yet because it's only one and I'm like well since she offered this I was like okay I'm gonna try this again as Isaiah 9 6 to 7 is scripture look at her cute label oh, man is this a good cookie oh my gosh I could I literally want to eat this That is so good. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's just so good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Peppermint with a twist. I ordered this. Really? Oh, peppermint trees. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Wait, what is this peppermint trees with a twist? New take on peppermint tree. This is sweet peppermint blended with balsam fir and a slight touch of strawberry pound cake so look at that little warmer i have trolls or warmer look at that little troll on um i'm sorry <laughs> it's a gnome it's not a tr troll i have these little gnomes all over my house i love them <laughs> oh my gosh i'm crazy i don't know how i feel about this <laughs> the peppermint is different it almost pulls more spearmint. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the peppermint with the balsam. I'm gonna warm this. I, I don't know what to think of this. Again, the peppermint, maybe with that balsam, is pulling a little bit spearmint to me. Um, I don't smell a lot of the strawberry pound cake, but again, you have to warm sometimes. It's there, but this to me, that peppermint is pulling really spearmint. I do not know why. But I'm guessing it's because that balsam. That one is not a favorite of mine, but that's okay. I can't love everything. And again, if I don't love it, usually my family loves it. Okay, old Christmas tree, roasted pine cones and Palo Santo. Well, you know I love her pine cone scents. I'm so glad that she did a Christmas order. Oh my god, that's so good. The Palo with roasted pine cones like you think one this is great again i still her, like her original um pine cone roasted pine cones but uh this is fantastic with that palo wow that's very good okay one of snowflake which is sweet peppermint rich vanilla buttercream and a touch of spearmint now i love buttercream scents so i wanted to try this i'm hoping i like this Again, all I can smell is spearmint in this. Oh, mm, this is pulling gum to, <laughs> to me. If you got this and love this, let me know. Um, if you warmed it, let me know even more. Uh, I'll see what my daughter thinks of this one. Again, I'm not gonna love everything. It's okay to try things that are outside of your element because you never know. And like I said, just because I don't like something doesn't mean that my family won't like it. Okay, that one and this one. Those two were not my favorites. Okay, I got two of Palo Santa. This is Donut Shop Palo Cinnamon Sugar Donuts and Palo Santo and Roasted Pine Cones. This sounds good. The cute little Santa. Scripture on this is John 1, 14 again. This is really good. I like the donuts, I like the roasted pine cones, and I like Palo, so all of this is great. Wow, very good. I'm very, I like this actually better than the donut shop in Palo. I actually love that it has the roasted pine cones. So I actually think I prefer this actually over the other one, but I love roasted pine cone scents. So I'm just going to say I enjoy that more than the other one. Okay. So let's see here. Salted pretzel fireside milkshake so oh yum salted pretzels vanilla ice cream palo santo and marshmallow fireside cute little trees on there i think we're almost getting down to the last few here mm, my gosh oh, this is so good i love her salty pretzels and i definitely get palo and then the marshmallow fireside oh, i can't wait to warm this one i her marshmallow fireside, I'm sure it's like everyone else's, but I really enjoy it. And her Palo is such a great Palo Santo. I really like that one. Okay, gingerbread eggnog. Again, eggnog can go good or bad, but I like her other eggnog blends I've gotten. This is sweet and salty, spicy gingerbread blended with strong eggnog, creamy vanilla bakery. Let's see. 
why did it even it's just good it, her gingerbread is good and her eggnog is really good oh my gosh oh this is so good mm. wow i'm like this isn't some eggnogs can come across like a little bit sour and I've warmed some in my house that I've had to take out because of that. Like it's just very, very sour eggnog. This is phenomenal. Wow. Okay. Uh, last but not least is the larger bags of, this is the one Beth and I were talking about, which was Christmas trees and cookies. And of course I ordered two because why wouldn't I? Because it has my favorite roasted pine cones, rich vanilla buttercream, and freshly baked sugar cookies ready to decorate. I haven't watched anyone's hauls because i don't think or did i watch etta's yes i watched etta's that's the only one i've watched of lavender and speckles this christmas rts because i did not i know that etta usually picks like the opposite of me so i watched hers um so i'm super excited to oh this has got tape on it um oh i'm super excited to smell this oh, i love this oh <laughs> This is so good. Definitely buttercream. Her cookie oil, I already got that one. This freshly baked sugar cookie oil is so good. And then you add roasted pine cone. This is so good. Oh, I am so happy that she did this for me. Well, she did a lot of suggestions from the group. So Beth, thank you again for doing everybody's. Um, but I have been obsessed with these kind of scent notes. So I appreciate that she even took that into consideration. So I'm super happy about that. Okay. So before I share the last two bags with you, I just want to share some standouts with you. I really like the Palo Santa. Like I said, I like, actually, I prefer this with the roasted pine cone, but I am obsessed with her roasted pine cone scent. So for me, this just makes it even better. This peppermint sugar cookies is blended so well. I'm thoroughly going to enjoy this. Uh, this gingerbread eggnog, her eggnog is creamy. Her gingerbread is perfect. It's not spicy, well done. Santa's zucchini bread. I actually think I might go put this in the warmers today. I'm trying to warm some of my older Christmas wax, but gosh, this is good. Um, Hello Christmas Cocoa, again, another surprise, but the dark chocolate in this, the cinnamon sugar donuts, and that sweet creamy peppermints. As far as like a single scent, this sugar cookie well is phenomenal. I can see why people like it. Um, all of them are great. The only two other two that I'm not sure about is snowflake and peppermint trees. So let me know if you've warmed these, what do you think? Because those are just, a little bit off for me but that's okay i don't have to like everything and then she did include a few extras so beth thank you for this this one sometimes she sends me scents and then her and i will converse about what do i think about it so this one is gingerbread and more this is fresh gingerbread cookies freshly baked bread and zucchini bread oh this is so good wow what was the other one I'm going to tell you which one I, so this one is fresh gingerbread cookies and this one has bread and zucchini. Yeah, this one is gingerbread and I can definitely smell a freshly baked bread and I can a lot and then I can smell the zucchini. So this one is gingerbread with like bread notes. The gingerbread eggnog is gingerbread, exactly that. This is sweeter because this has breads, you almost get a little bit of like, like a crunchy bread note, and then you can smell the zuc her creamy zucchini in it as well. This is great, oh my gosh, I wanna warm this one too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, that is great. Okay, and then blueberry zucchini bread, Fr fresh blueberry muffins and zucchini bread. Now, I'm a big critic of blueberry because it's not my top scent. Oh. This, she's got a great blueberry. I have smelled other scents with, of hers with blueberry and I really do like the oil that she's using. If you like blueberry, which I know my friend April, her and I go um, to Sassy Girl Roma, we do uh, trips there, she loves blueberry. I'll have to pull a couple pieces and share that with her so she can have that for next time. But go, oh, hang on, my foot is falling asleep. Oh my gosh, oh, my whole leg is asleep now. 
this is why I do not generally sit on the floor. I appreciate you all that can do that, but dang, is that hard to do. Oh, I really like this. Her zucchini bread, though, is so good and creamy. Like, it just, all around, this is just good. I don't know how you could not do it. I like her blueberry, though. Wow, those are so good. I... I'm so excited to warm through this. Again, Beth, thank you so much for being kind and helping me um, get this order because I worked nights and it was just, it work has been pretty busy now. I was on call Thanksgiving, so I was on call Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Luckily, I didn't get called in, but um, you're still on call, so I have to be ready to go. But the last couple of weeks, I've worked a lot. We've had some mandatory overtime. Um, in about a week, well, a little over a week, I'll be going to part-time, which I'm very excited about. Because of the mandatory overtime, I just can't do full-time with five kids and um, mandatory overtime. So even if I'm part-time and have man mandatory overtime or mandatory call shifts, I won't be as stressed because I'm not working, you know, 32 to 34 hours and then having to pick up, you know, another 24 hours sometimes a week. Um... And then I'm when I always used to work part time when my kids were little too because then I could always pick up shifts if I wanted to. So I just am looking forward to being part time uh, because it's just a lot and I it's been hard. So I know whatever it is what it is. What we all have struggles in life. I totally get that. So um, but anyway, thanks for watching me and joining me in this. Beth, these were great blends. Like. I am so excited and yes she does have on her invoice you can warm after 11 28 and today is the 27th um, so maybe tomorrow I'll warm that Santa zucchini bread but I will say I do cut them in half I do put them in all of my warmers I have great performance and luck um, if you don't let me just say get a two-in-one hot plate um, Amazon shares it. I'll insert a photo here next to me. And then the other warmer is the Julianne, which I will insert here as well. Those are two warmers that if you have Sensi, I also have two in, two in my open concept downstairs. I have two two and one hot plates and I have one of the new Julianne warmers, uh, new to me. Uh, and in my bedroom, I use a candle crock. Um, those are super, super, super hot warmers. And then I have my Scentsy warmers as well. Up here, you can see I have, I have a 20 watt Christmas tree up there. I have that. So 20, that's the 20. No, that's Edison. That's not on. That one right there I got from Walmart. It does not warm well at all. There's like always wax pooling. That one's gonna go away. That is the 25, I believe. That is a really hot warmer. Anything with the ceramic is a great performer. I have a two-in-one hot plate over there. I get great performance anytime I test in this space and this is vaulted ceilings. It's over the stairwell. This is a big space as well. But so I just wanted to share that because I've gotten a lot of questions lately. Um, so if I don't respond to them, I am sorry. I am trying to catch up on comments as well, but it's been very busy with the kids so and work. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching, commenting, subscribing. Let me know if you like my Christmas background i usually do some videos uh in front of my tree this is my upstairs tree obviously i have one on my landing downstairs i have multiple in my downstairs in my main floor i have some in my bedroom my kids each have one <laughs> a lot of trees in my house a lot of christmas decor that you can't even see right now but anyway thank you guys all so much with that being said i hope you have a wonderful beautiful blessed day Two thousand years later.